Morning, mate. Oh. It's going to oh, be a good day. Look, timed up. Your bowl sounded crunchy. I know, all timed up. Um, we've got our adjustable cam gears on there, timing belt, new water pump, new oil pump, new pickup, new sump gasket, new sump. It's looking new so good. New everything. The only thing Last that's missing. Night it was a bit of a late night, man, but it got done. This Civic is way more work than anyone expected. Yeah, well, but, everyone but knew it would be you've got it out on the engine really? stand, you know, like this is ne it's never going to be easier than it is right now. So we've got some, some stuff to do today, but it's going to, I'm feeling good about it, man. This guy's been re threaded now. Yep. So he should actually work. We need to clean out and put new spark plugs in because that still has like dead grass in it. So we got to yes. work that out. Yep. Um, we're going to try and get our clutch and flywheel and gearbox on today as well, if we can. Yep. See how we go. Um, so I do the rocker cover. You're going to install the skunk, Martin. I'm putting the skunk on. Martin, Martin brings the stink to the yard, people. Don't you? All the skunkiness. All the skunkiness. No, I'm keen. That's the, I'm the so. The skunk is going on. And Martin, and we have now worked out over here on Captain Skunky that even though that is circular and that is square, the consensus is the it'll consensus be sweet. The consensus is send it. It'll be sweet. So this is like on a this plastic gasket. Yeah, like a phenolic spacery thing. Apparently, these are a good thing. They keep intake temps down because you're not, I don't know. I don't know if I believe that. But anyway, the good thing is um, you just got to torque them up and be really careful with your torque settings. So there's a specific way to do this. Um, you're going to put the intake manifold on. That. I'll do that. You chuck the right, and this needs new gaskets in it. It needs all new hardware up here. So we got, we got some stuff to do. And then I'll stick Feeling good though. on it, Martin. Do it. And then... Do um, it. Is it, is it, is it? No, that's not, that's are just... We, zzz, not, zzz, zzz, really? Zzz. But you don't reckon... But we don't know. We don't know. Okay. But we should. But we don't know. Okay. We'll go riding on the horses, yeah, yeah. Way up in the sky, little Martin. This whole area is getting a brake cleaner bath. Um, it's just so gross. It's just it's just oily dirt basically that sort of like flicked up on the engine and stayed there. Um, never cleaning your engine bay will do this. Also having an engine that breathes too much will do this, but we're not going to talk about that in case it's the case, which I really don't want it to be. I'm just getting rid of it so that every time you touch it, you don't get completely covered in schmoo. And we're making a big mess anyway, so now's the time. I'm going to clean all this up, put a new hose on here, and then stick that intake manifold straight on. Martin, do you use more of that than any other product in this room? It's a, it's a really, really useful product. Well, particularly because we're off so often dealing with like nuggety, dirty old crap. But you don't have to use a lot of it. You can also, I mean, if you're more organized, you would wash this whole engine down with degreaser before you even start while everything's still sealed up. Yep. That probably would have been the smart thing to do. Yep. Did that with the gearbox because it was out, but everything's too open. So with this brake cleaner, I can really like specifically and closely just clean stuff. And it's just, just basically a solvent and it's just really good for cleaning oil off metal. Yep. Works good. This car is legit getting a really good makeover though, dude. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And it's what's crazy is actually if you the car gets neglected to the point of this, it just it requires so much work. Like keeping a car in mad condition is actually a lot of maintenance. Yes. And if you let it get this bad, then it's a lot of restoration, even though this is just real basic mechanical picking stuff together. All right, that is oil cap. Oh, look at that. Oh, nice and new and awesome. Yes. I got a whoa. In different area codes. Did you ever see The Last Starfighter when you were a kid? Is that what that is? I thought that was like some Raiders of the Lost Ark or something. Nah, it's like The Last Starfighter was like a movie that... I can't do this with one arm. Can you hold that for a second? <laughs> it's like a movie that I think was trying to jump on the Star Wars kind of thing. Oh, but it was about a kid that played a computer game and it seemed like it was a computer game, but what it actually was, was a test to see if you could go and fly in the Armada to like protect Earth from these alien invader things. Right. And so everything you learned to do in the game, then later on, 
uh, when you're actually, if you get a good enough score in the game, it means that you're good enough to then go and fight and protect the galaxy. And then at the end, he gets a big rocket and gets a girlfriend. <laughs> Wait, what everybody wants. A red like, rocket, he, grew, he grew up in a um, he grew up in like a, a caravan park, and it's you know he's a no hoping dude, and but he's really good at this game. So you know it's it's a it's like the hero story for gamers everywhere. If you get really good at a game, you'll get a girlfriend and a rocket. Do you know what time it is? I can smell it, Martin. Do you know what time it is? Now, it's finally been revealed, Martin, after all this time, why this is called Disrespected Nose. The skunk because of disrespected the skunk. our nose. Um, anyway, slap it on. I'm excited, man. This is like the first big mod. Because up till now, it's a stock boring B16, whatever. And now it's a still very stock. But now it's been skunked. It's been skunkified. This, this here appears to be in the way. Okay, good. I'm going to grind some shit off. Grind that off. Oh man, what a letdown. That's nah, good. Don't worry about it. I'm not worried. I was just so ready for the skunk. I know, me too. Come on, skunk. Don't let me down. Come on, skunk. Come on, skunk. It's going to fit, man. It's going to fit. Don't worry. I'm not worried, Martin. You sound like you're worried. I am worried. I oh, am? Yeah? I'm not worried. It's going to fit. It's not going to fit. Why doesn't it fit? It does look a bit pissed off, is why it's not going to fit. Dude, it's this. Look at this. You can, you can see. That's why it's not doing. All right. You could either grind it off or we could just schmooze that up a little bit. I'm going to grind it off. Come on, skunk. Yes, it will fit your Honda as long as you use an angle grinder. Come on, skunk. I don't know, man. I don't know that it's that. I reckon we're... Yeah! We're good. Yes. You just have to have a little bit of faith in the VTEC, Martin. Skunkiness. Look at that. I can smell it. Uh, no, it's not clearing on the bottom. So we need to, right there, we need to grind that off as well. Come on, skunk. Let's go. Don't make the memes wrong. Yes, it's there it is. It fits. It actually fits. It fits, everybody. Incredible. Incredible. This does not need to go in the bin, does it, Martin? Well, not yet. Let's see how we go. Not until we finish the car, then it can go in the bin. <laughs> Are we putting this in the car today? That's actually we can try. isn't it? Yeah, we'll try. As long as we don't get interrupted too much by dickheads. Some people reckon, Marty, that when I put these on, I look like Ali G. You do heaps. You know I, mean? I didn't want to say it. But you um, do. And when you put Avedis on, sometimes you look a bit like Bolrat. Which is the same guy, which is interesting. Which means basically you just look a little bit like old mate. I thought you were going to say when I put Avedis on, I look like Tom Cruise. Well, that too, except you're way taller. Anyway, using some um, air duster to now clean up all of the garbage that's in here. So much garbage. Yeah, dude. Yeah. You get rid of all that stuff. And we'll put some new plugs in it. Look at that. That's a good alternative if you don't have like compressed air. Um, if you don't have one of those. Alternatively, you can get like a big, like a big compressed air thing like that. Or, Ryobi make a small one like oh, that. Oh, I tried the small one, dude. Which you can run on batteries. We should try it, Martin. Let's do it. We should try it right now. For science. I had to get a squirrely thing for it. Here you go. And we need so, a gun thing for there's it. There's that. A battery. We were going to use this when we did our four-wheel drive trip, the uh, um, K-truck in the Jimny, but we didn't end up using it because we used a little 18-volt inflator. It so um, it just takes Nitto fittings and then you jam your thing in. That's just a little air blower, like. So there it is. That is now compressed air running off battery. Small. Super portable. Portable. Run your air tools, or in our case, yeah. When you do this, make sure you've got some eye protection on. There's a lot of crap blow can blow out of there very, very easily. That's amazing. Good, That's really good. Let's slap um, some spark plugs in it. They sent us that, so thank you. So in our engine, we are going to be running some NGK spark plugs. Now, to install these, you can use a, let me just crack that one out. 
you can use a special tool which NGK sent us, which looks very simple, but is actually really cool, which is this. So this here is like a bit of hose and it basically means that you can um, get your spark plug in there without cross-threading it. Now, in the past, um, I had been putting a little bit of grease on these. Uh, turns out you don't need to. You can go in dry and grease means that you will get incorrect torque settings if and when you do torque up your spark plugs. But, hopefully like you that, do. <laughs> Man, we should use a torque wrench in our spark plugs today. What do you reckon? There's, um... The spark plugs, there's old spark plugs still in there, so... Need a special tool to get rid of them, too. The hose isn't going to work for them. I'm not completely convinced that this plastic gasket is going to seal up, but hey, I've been wrong many times before. That is torqued to the factory specs. Although apparently with this gasket, you've got to torque it a bit higher. So I've got to find out what that is. That's 20 foot-pounds, which is what Honda says. But I reckon we need to go a bit higher. And you do it in a crisscross pattern as well. You do top, bottom, top, bottom, left, right, work your way out, which I've already done. I'm just checking that it's right. That one, that one's, that one's, that one ain't never talking up. <laughs> Someone's had a go at that before. So I feel a little bit like a dentist at the moment because... Why, because you've got an Audi? <laughs> Sorry, that was harsh. I don't have a Saab anymore, man. Sorry. <laughs> Come on, dude. There's something... Dentists drive C63s, don't they? Do they? I don't know. I'm not really a Mercedes a kind of dude. Martin, there's something in here and I'm just trying to... I'm trying Does that to... help? <laughs> no. Yeah, here it is. Oh, what's that? Oh. What are you and why are you there? Look at that. What's that? It's just a... A Honda person will know. Dude, oh, that's the end of the thing. No, that's the end of the, um, the lead. The end of the distributor lead thing, which I may have already chucked. Okay. All right. Good. Bye. In the bin! Has someone done them really tight? Yeah. Really, really <laughs> tight. At least not hand tight like everything else. Whoa! That's crazy. Far out, man. Talked up to 11. And now we get to see what kind of pounds. condition we're also in. Man, they're gonna be good condition. I bet you they're gonna be like fine. Totally fine. Look at that. Oh. Just oily. That's well. The oily is the oily is sort of our fault because we had the engine upside down. So Black. we only have ourselves to blame for that. And ancient. Yeah, they look old though. Cool. Slap some new ones in. There it goes. Wow. Far out. That's another mystery, Martin. Another mystery. All right, the top's all cleaned up. The old spark plugs are out, and now the new ones can go in. This is not some S15 with a cheap body kit on it. It's, no. All right, man. We are, I think we're done with the engine stand. Wow. That's cool. That's it's cool. Looking like an engine again, isn't it? It is, man. What have we done? New VTEC solenoids, the blanking plugs, our stinky skunk. We've done rocker cover gasket, new rubbers, spark plugs. Uh, we've got new spark plugs, yeah, new gaskets here. Obviously our skunk also comes with our fuel rail over here. All of this fan dangling over here as well. New timing belt, water oh, pump. I do need to put on a oil new... Pump. Oil pump, filter, yeah, good oil call. filter. We have one over here. there somewhere. Might as well just jam that on. <laughs> the floor, literally just about to clean the floor up too. Good timing. I might just do yeah, sweet. this to try and sweet. not make as much of a mess. Um, and so yep, next clutch. up, Martin, we do clutch, flywheel, flywheel, and then slap it in. Don't, don't even well, slap we're going to try and slap it in. I mean, this is still now where Jigsaw comes back into it because we got, yeah, look, there's, there's, there's lots of stuff that's a bit mysterious that we just don't know what's going to happen. So let's not get ahead of ourselves, but hopefully it's going to be time to throw this thing in soon. I'd like to get ahead of ourselves, Martin. <laughs> This is this was the car that we were like, oh, we'll just buy it, fix it up. This is something that is really easy to demonstrate. We talk about this all the time, oh, but happened. this is a really good demonstration over here of making sure that that comes off with your oil filter, because that is not meant it's to be It's easy to do because it looks like part of the engine, doesn't it? But it's not. Um, yeah, I mean, this is kind of one of those things that always goes a little bit further because, you know, you kind of go, oh, we'll just fix it up and put it in. And then you and I are like, oh, no, let's turbocharge yes, it. Now let's do true. this, let's do that. Yep. And um, But look, we are 
It is going to be naturally aspirated. Because where's the purity, Martin? Where's the purity in a disgusting turbocharger? Take it back. We, look, we've got, to, we've got to do the naturally aspirated game. We've got to have a go. We've been talking about it. Everyone else has been saying, do naturally aspirated stuff. Yeah, got to so now we're it. doing naturally aspirated stuff. Got to experience it. It'll be good. Cool. Easiest oil filter change ever. Done. So what's left to do as well, you'll notice there's a couple of like sensors that are not plugged in. I mean, not that many. You've got like coolant temp and oil pressure, air temp, really basic stuff. Alternator, I need a little bit of wiring, but we can do that in the car. We can do all that stuff sort of with the engine in because you still get a bit of space up and under here because the K-frame, well, it doesn't really, well, it's got a K-frame, but it's right at the back. Normally, you'd have all this stuff in the way. And we also have the choice of going in from underneath or up from the top. So I guess we work that out too. All right, people, that is where we are leaving it today. Heaps of progress Heaps. Uh, yesterday and today, but um, still so much more to go. But um, yeah, we've got our engine. We've got our engine all together. We've got a skunk on. We've got all our timing gear on. It's looking. It's looking like an engine. But it's next time really we've good. got to actually get make that back up to the gearbox, flywheel, clutch, rear main seals, pilot bearings, dry out bearings, engine mounts, engine mounts, and then in the car. Stuff. So thank you everybody who's had their nasal cavity disrespected by this series. Of course, if you want to get some merch, you can get it from the Mighty Car Mod Shop. We pack it and send it from here in Sydney, Australia, all over the world, and it really does help support the show. You can get that from MightyCarMods.com. Thank you very much. See you next episode for more disrespected Civic action. Sack whack. Bye.